Hey, this is Blind Fox, and welcome to another little ration update. Today we've got the chicken a la king from the from Serec from the say in the F menu number seven. Please support the channel. Please subscribe. Please go and donate some money on Patreon.com. We have got the 200 gram chicken a la king. Again, it's in a sleeve with all the ingredients of all the meals. And again, like some of the others, it is closed at the bottom. This is again in the green pouch. And it's got it, its expiry date on there. It's also got the expiry date on the pouch. I just saw this the other day. To upgrade this, we're going to use the chicken soup. And we're going to use two minute noodles. I'm going to use the chicken a la king with the pasta and make a little sauce with the chicken soup. I'm not going to show you how I did it. I'm just going to do it and show you the results. Again, for utensils, I'm going to use a, it's an old SADF mess cup and a US MRE spoon. Like all the other SA rations or MREs, you tear it open at the top. It's quite easy to tear open. Or normally. You can see there's some vegetables and chicken in there. It doesn't really have a strong smell. The taste is quite bland, but you do get the little the chicken a la king taste. It's not very wow and tasteful, but it's slightly. The difference between US MRE sauces and the South African ones is the sauces in the South African ones is much, much. Um, more runny than in the US MREs. So I'm going to fix this up and I'll be back. You do get a bit of mushroomy taste and that particular chicken a la king taste, but I think it will work quite well in a pasta. Okay, this is the result. It's not a very colorful dish. You can see still there is some of the vegetables. I boiled the pasta and then I mixed up the chicken soup with a bit of milk, a bit of flour just to thicken it and a little bit of the roast chicken spice that was with the pasta and then the chicken a la king. You can see it's got a nice thick sauce. You taste the chicken. It's a little bit salty but I think it's because I used most likely the roast chicken spice. I did use a bit of um, Italian herbs that is in a bottle. I'm not sure what the herbs is in there. You get it, you buy it as Italian herbs. I think it's rosemary, maybe, or oregano, maybe some basil, maybe some thyme. You can see it, it made a nice sticky sauce. You still get a bit of that chicken a la king taste. The chicken is a bit dry, but it was dry in any way. The pasta is nice and saucy. It's, it got a nice thick sauce in the end. I didn't know it would be so nice and thick, but... I've never done this before. So as a first try, it was it's quite good. So this is, I think, turned out to be quite a good dish. As you can see... Yeah. So you can still see there's some vegetables in there. This turned out to be quite a good dish. So for a, no, a relatively bland chicken a la king, the chicken soup and the little bit of chicken spice, or chick, roast chicken spice from the two minute noodles I used did help. And it improved the dish quite a lot. I didn't use, I used a bit of cheddar, normal cheddar cheese. I didn't use any processed cheese in this. 
at least this gives you something else to do with the chicken a la king with I didn't just want to add it to just to, on rice and the sam it's a bit stupid for me with chicken a la king so if you got ever that meal it's in if menu 7 and you don't want you've got some 2 minute noodles this is a good combination with the soup to do with that for, for that meal so that was my little ration of juice it doesn't look very good it doesn't look very colorful but it tastes quite good so thanks for watching this with me please support my channel please go and donate on patreon.com please subscribe see you at my next little ration review